Hi everyone, this is Carol with SitFit, back to bring you another video for your viewing and doing pleasure in your own apartment. So today's workout is something different from the other two. We're going to have a warm up and we're going to do a chair dancer size, followed by, that'll be one song, followed by some gentle muscle strengthening and of course our cool down where we'll relax and bring our body temperature back down. So hopefully you've had some water before you start. If you haven't, pause this and get yourself some water. Then you're going to begin your exercise using good even breaths, taking breaks when you need to. If something doesn't feel good, don't do it. And if I should extend my arm in such a way that is too long or too far from you, just shorten your extension. You don't have to do exactly what I do. You're in your apartment after all, do what feels good. And then the final thing is to take a break if you need a break and then join back in if you should get out of breath or you just want a little breather. Okay, here we go. Have fun. I'm in a new location in my home today, the fireplace. So you might see a cat walk in front of you at some time, I'm not sure. And you might hear my husband cough in the background. We don't know. But that's part of the uniqueness of doing this. Don't tell anyone. Here we go. How about snapping your fingers? Get your hands nice and loose. Bump those heels up and down. Okay, let's wake up our leg muscles. Toe tap. And a gentle tap on your leg, or maybe not so gentle. Now fast. Hands down, lift up and down, warming up the shoulders, straight to yours, two more, last one, alternate shoulder circles, back, 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 and back, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's bring those elbows into it. Shorten your range of motion. This is too much for you. If this feels good. Maybe start going a little higher. I'm going to loosen up from the neck to through the shoulders just so we have some mobility before we stretch our neck. Okay, arms down. Take your chin down. And inhale, look up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale, look center. Turn to your right, hold. Come back to the center. Turn to your left and hold. Come back to center. Begin wiggling your fingers. Shake out your hands. Let's reach out, back. Just a simple movement, keeping the elbow alignment with the shoulders. Four. Three, getting that heart rate up. Two, one. Now let's warm up the bicep. Four, three, two, and one. Give me a big inhale. Exhale. Belly in, feet planted. We're going to rotate on the pelvis sit bones. Three. One more. And tap those toes. Let's get ready to move the legs. Knee up, start right. Up, left. And pump the arms a little low. Getting the circulation moving now. In the legs and the feet. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale. Rotate those wrists. And flick out your fingers. And crawl them up. Crawl them down. Hands on hips. Right foot. Heel. Flat at the foot. Heel. Flat. Heel. And flat. Two more. Sitting tall. Belly button pull to the spine. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Six on the left leg. Heel. Flat at the foot. Heel. 
flat of the foot. This is four. Two more. That's six. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg. Out and in. Two more. Let's go to the other leg. Using the ball and socket joint at the hip. Now we're going to warm up. Upper thigh. Push. Do you see where it says high? And the upper thigh on the left. And a smiley face. Bring it back. Okay. Let's just snap. Bump those heels up and down. Okay. You're going to reach forward. Pull back. Reach and pull. See how I'm keeping my heels moving? See if you do both at one time. Okay, hold it here, tap your toes, reach out. Actually, I'm more of doing a push. Push, push. Couple more. Last one. Now take an inhale and an exhale. Let's lift up your right knee, left arm, back down. Lift and lower. Get my elbow away so you can see my knee move. Two more. This is six. Other side now, we're gonna start with six. Six, coming down, five, four, that's three, two, last time, one. Take a deep inhale, arms up, and down. Let's start with a little bit of a dancing move. Leg side, arm out. Side reaches, point your toe. Reach your fingers out long. Two more. Last one. And inhale, exhale, other side, reach and back. Reach and back. We got two more. This is six. Hold it. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, let's do something a little dancier. Five. So the toes are moving in the same direction as the hands. You can bring the shoulder into it if you want to. Four, three, two, one. Now hold, inhale. Exhale. Let's try something different. Take your toes, hold them on the right. Take your hands, take them to the left. Now we're going to do the opposite direction, just like we did the first time, to the beat of the music. Go. So when you do opposite things like this, it fires up your brain, makes you think about what you're doing, fun, challenge yourself. Look at that. Can't talk and do more than one thing. Four, three, two, and one. Push forward and up. Bump those heels. Forward and up. You don't have to go so far. But keep that belly button pulled in. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take it to the side. Now I'm keeping my leg bent here. Pushing up to the corners. Both arms. If you're tired, just use the legs. Four. Three. Feel the movement in your hips. Last one. Knees up. Press. Press. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, a couple more big movements. Let's see if you can take both feet out at one time. Out, in, out. Gotta hold your tummy in for that. It's like a seated jumping jack. Four, three, two, and one. Are you breathing heavier? I hope so, because I am. Now we're gonna go to basic, gentle, muscle strengthening movements. We're gonna begin with the back. Reaching forward, squeezing your elbows behind you. Reach, squeeze, 
So when you bend, you're bending at the hip crease, not the waist. This is number four. We're going to do six repetitions for each exercise. And this is the last one. Take a breath and exhale. Starting with the upper body and working down. So it will help to bring your heart rate down toward the end. Okay, arms start here. They open and close. That's one. Two. You're trying to bring the elbows to come together. Three. What I call have your elbows kiss. Four. Five. And six. All right, shake it out. Actually, let's alternate and go to the lower leg. Pick up your left knee. Push your foot forward. Push your foot forward toward me. Two. Three. Four. Sitting tall. Five. Six. Bend that knee. Take it down. Inhale. Exhale. Other knee. Flex the foot. Toe up. Push. Two. Three, four, five, and six. All right, take it down. Hands on legs, not on kneecaps. Press hard with your body weight. Let's work the calf muscles on the back of the legs, starting right above the ankle, catching into the knee area. Four, resistance. Three, two, one. Breathe in, breathe out. Beginning with the back of the arms, thumbs up, remember, elbows high, relax the shoulders, extend. Two, three, little squeeze at the end of the exercise right here, squeeze. This is six, we're gonna do two more. Seven, eight, sit tall, inhale, and exhale. Let's move to those biceps. Popeye muscles. One, two, gentle fists. Don't squeeze too hard. Four, five, six. Rest, inhale, exhale. Let's hit the front of the shoulders. Rest your hands, lift up and down. Now you don't need to come higher than your shoulder. You'll feel this right on the very front, right there. Do both arms together, lift up and down. Let's do an isometric contraction. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let them down, inhale, and exhale. How about some abdominals? How about it, huh? Put your feet out a little farther. Make sure you're away from the back of your chair. Cross your arms, sitting tall. Inhale, come back a little. Exhale, sit up. Inhale, exhale. So that spine is staying in its natural shape. Avoid the collapsing of the back. Four, pull the belly button inward each time you come up. Five, squeeze. Six. Squeeze your abdominals. Oops, this is longer, isn't it? Seven. And eight. That's it. We'll take an inhale and an exhale. Good. Separate your feet a little bit more. We're going to begin our cool down already. Okay. A little bit of a separation. Taking your hands into some gentle, kind of like a cat claw shape. Place these on your kneecaps gently, just so you have something to hold on to. Inhale, lift your chin, lift your heart without arching your back, and exhale, fold forward. You may feel a little stretch up the back of your leg from the knee up into the buttock. Inhale, sit tall first, and exhale. Let's do that another time. Without arching your low back, lift your heart, inhale, look up. Exhale, sit, look forward, breathe in again. And now lean forward. Stay there and just pull up your toes. 
Did you notice how you can feel the stretch up the back of your leg, starting right at your ankle? Tummy in, sit up tall, walk your feet together. Let's do a gentle rotation. Lift up your right leg, and then set the right hand on top, left hand above that. Relax those shoulders. Turn to your left and hold. Now ground that foot down into the floor. Sit evenly on your buttocks. And be sure you just feel this along the ribs in the upper middle back, not the low back. Breathe in, come forward. And breathe out. Gently look to the other side for a moment and come back. All right. Hold on to that leg and just rotate the foot around in the other direction. Are you being too serious right now? Smile. <laughs> Set that foot down. Take the other leg on top. Okay, same side, arm and leg. Opposite hand on top. Inhale, relax the shoulders. Exhale, <sighs> rotate to your left and hold here. But don't hold your breath. Again, if you feel any little pops, that's normal. It's just the spinal fluid moving around. But the point here isn't turn, to turn and twist all the way around. The point is just to feel that gentle stretch along the torso and up the mid-back. Inhale back to center. Exhale, slight rotation to the opposite direction. Come back, face forward, and then hold that leg, rotations of the toe for the ankle. Oh, I got a good crack there. Other way. Good. Place your heels down forward so you have a little slope in your leg, like you could roll a ball down your leg. Now pull up on those toes. Really pull till you feel that contraction up the shin. Support yourself on your thighs. Keep your heart lifted and your gaze forward. Lean into the stretch. It's not ideal to look downward and bend your head like this because quite often then we start to lose the strength in the back and round the shoulders and compromise the back. We want the back to feel good when we get done with exercising, right? Place your toes down. Stay right here and place your toes down. Did you feel that shift? It comes up the shin now, from the ankle or top of the foot to the shin, because you're stretched out. So you have to have your legs stretched out to feel that. The whole of your foot is pressing into the floor. And now come up, and slow rotations of the shoulder. Move real slowly without any hurry. That's three. We'll do a couple more. Good. And then just drop ear to shoulder. You can look up a little if you want to change the stretch to the back side of your neck. But look back toward the camera or the video film until before you sit up. Now drop ear straight to shoulder. So your head won't go very far, and it's, there's no need for the ear to touch the shoulder. Um, we want to avoid bringing the shoulder up, just letting the neck stretch. To intensify that stretch, you can look up just a little. Your nose is upward, but take your nose forward before you sit up straight. How about with me? A couple more times. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, and again. Okay, do you feel like you've just been to a party? No? Then you have to have a party hat the next time. So when you're done now, I want you to make sure you have some water, uh, bubbly water, tap water, doesn't matter, just hydrate. And maybe a nice fresh piece of fruit if you're hungry, and make it a wonderful day. And please come back and view this again. We're so happy to have you with us, and we really miss you. Can't wait to come back. Take care. Bye-bye.